Hey guys, it's Barbara with Pants Over Coffee here in Wally, and today we are comparing the Mighty Paws Sport Harness 2.0 with the Front Range Harness by Ruckwear. So, the main difference I want to point out is that the Mighty Paws Sport Harness 2.0 has a padded handle on the back here, and the Ruckwear Front Range Harness does not. The nice feature about the padded handle on the back is that I can easily grab it to regain control of Wally whenever he does act up on leash, which does happen every now and then. For instance, when he sees other dogs that he's not too crazy about, but also when his prey drive kicks in around squirrels, cats, bunnies, essentially any small uh, moving critters, small critters that move fast. <laughs> okay, so, um, Wally, thank you, good boy. Um, the other cool feature about the Mighty Paws Sport Harness uh, 2.0 is the fact that it has a neck buckle that you can open in order to avoid having to pull the harness over your dog's head. Because um, not every dog likes that, and that was actually the main reason why this harness was designed in this manner. Um, so Rather than pulling it over your dog's head, you can literally just put it around their neck, which we're going to demonstrate here in a minute. Um, the front range harness by Ruffwear has a nice feature here that's called the ID tag feature. So what it does is you can actually open the little pocket here and um, put your dog's ID tags in there if, you, if you're not crazy about hearing the jingling sound. I personally don't mind the sound, so I rarely actually use it, but it's there for you if you do care for that. Um, all right, Wally, we're gonna give you another treat and then we're gonna demonstrate how we put the harnesses onto Wally. Yes, good boy. Shake left, good, shake right, yes, good. We've been working on that lately. Good job. Okay, so the front, uh, the um, Mighty Paw Sport Harness 2.0 right here. In order to pull it on, we're gonna unclip the uh, neck buckle, place it around Wally like this, and then we're gonna clip the neck buckle shut right here on the other side, and that's already, it's already halfway on. At that point, we just need to grab the chest piece and attach the side buckles on each side, and that's, that's it. Um, I really like the back leash attachment point right here. It's made of metal, and I frequently use it to attach either the collapsible dog ball to it or our poop bag holder to make sure that we don't run out of poop bags when we're out on walks. Um, of course, you can also use the back leash attachment point to attach a leash to it, which um, I rarely do. I will say that because I mainly use the harness to carry stuff and to have the handle uh, on Wally to regain control in case I need to do that. Um, I usually just clip the leash to his collar and then walk him that way. Technically, I could also clip the leash to the front leash attachment point, which is made of metal. Um, that feature actually allows uh, allows me to have a little more control on him in case he does pull and lunge. But um, I'll be honest and say that that only works so well. It works really well to um, reduce mild to moderate pulling, but it's not good for strong pullers and dogs who lunge um, and who have a very strong prey drive. So we're gonna take it back out, unclip the neck buckle and the side buckles. And then we're gonna demonstrate how we put the Ruckwear front main harness onto Wally. Good boy. All right, so this one does have to go over the dog's head. So it's not loving it terribly, but it's okay. He manages. Then we're gonna grab the chest piece and just like we did with the sport harness going on, we're gonna attach the side buckles and that's it. So this harness also has a metal um, back leash attachment point where you can clip all sorts of stuff to. Well, certainly a leash if you want to walk your dog that way and um, a collapsible water dish or, or and or um, some poop bags. 
You can also attach the leash to the front leash attachment point. Um, it pretty much serves the same purpose as the front leash attachment point on the Mighty Paw Sport Harness 2.0. But like I said earlier, I'm not crazy about using that feature because it's not good for dogs who pull a bunch or who have a really strong free drive. Um, also, what I don't like about this particular front leash attachment point is that it's made of webbing and not of strong metal like the Mighty Paw one. Okay, and then to take it back off, you just unclip the side buckles and pull it back over the dog's head. And that is it. Well, I mean, you did so well. I hope you guys enjoyed our little comparison video. And uh, we'll see you in the box soon. Bye.